Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is uh, Friday the 25th and TC just released a Gears 5 status update on their Twitter um, showcasing their, their priority of fixes or you know work in progress or whatever, basically whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm aware that a lot of you guys are probably not on Twitter. So I figured give my first impressions on this stuff and also just inform you guys on what's going on. So as you can see here, it's October 25th, it's literally just out. Uh, they got some title update notes from before. It says a message to our players. As part of our continued post-launch support, we are committed to continually improving Gears 5 online performance. We know you have concerns and we want to improve our transparency around our ongoing development work to address your biggest topics of feedback. Our dev team is already hard at work on resolving several uh, priority issues, which you, we've listed below. We recognize that these issues have significant, uh, have significant impact on your Gears 5 experience and we're prioritizing by the degree of negative impact that they have. Dealing with the issues below are our top priority, but this list does not include any new features or smaller fixes also in development. Goddamn chair. <laughs> As these issues progress, uh, we'll provide, we will provide more details, including timing to keep you informed. Thank you for all your support and feedback since release. Our team care, care deeply about tackling these issues as soon as these issues as soon as possible. We'll keep you, uh, we'll be keeping you updating. We'll be keeping you updating you regularly moving forward with any detail they can provide. I swear, I did not write this, okay? <laughs> Someone in America did, or Canada, or whoever is, uh, wherever in the world. <laughs> Service stability, priority, very high. Players may not see earned rewards, in-game content starts, etc. in the post-match flow. While these rewards are showing up later, we are working to ensure all players see rewards as soon as they are earned. Okay, some players may be randomly disconnected, resulting in disrupted, disrupted game experience. Oh, wow, just awful lines and potentially unfounded quit penalties. Really, surprise, surprise. Status temporary fix we have de re temporarily removed the 15 to 30 minute timeout penalties to ensure non quitters aren't as punished by disconnects. However, rank completion ratings, RCR, are still active, so serial quitters will still receive escalating suspensions. Well, no, they won't, because people who've quit a lot will just not be able to play during this entire update. They've been banned already. Permanent fix under investigation. Right, okay. Well, yeah. What can I say about this? I've been playing the last couple of days here and there. Did a bit of Horde, disconnected. Did a bit of uh, quick play, just bots. Um, played some ranked and played at 100 ping. It's, it's, coincidentally, I've tried some escalation and execution and somehow I am on the low pings. Somehow, I guess I'm on European servers. They must not work for the rest of the game modes though. Ranking points not awarded correctly. Priority, very high. Post-match tier skill points are not working as intended. Surprise. They are inaccurate, inconsistent, and not representative of a player's individual performance. But does that mean that me, I got Master TDM, King of the Hill, and Guardian now. And working my way up escalation and execution when I can find a game every 30 minutes. Does this mean that I'm not actually master now? Am I going to get reset too, even though I am playing better than everybody else in my damn games most of the time? <sighs> Punishment. Some players are not being placed in the correct rank upon completion of their placement matches. We are also aware of players getting stuck in silver and having harder than expected time to increase their rank until getting out. Yes, I have that too, but I also know that most of the time, it's because someone quits on my team on the other team. Most of the time, I'm playing game mode where, uh, say like Guardian, I become the leader and I cannot score many points per minute. It matters. Okay, I stream most of my games, especially versus, because I just don't want to play by myself. It's absolutely, well, I do it all solo, but I don't want to play on my own without streaming. It's just absolutely mind-numbingly boring to me. Um, but every time I do well and I stay alive long enough so I can actually get points, whether that's assists or actual eliminations, whatever, kills, etc., uh, I rank up easily. 
Uh, so for anyone out there that's stuck, just do better, right? Just focus on doing better, doing more work. Don't sit still, right? Risk your life to help your teammates. Not just run in there like a bunch of dumbasses, okay? I see a lot of people do that shit. Woo, that shit pissed me off. Don't do that. Play it smart, but be aggressive, all right? So status about the ranking points is we have an identified the issue and have a permanent fix in progress. Ooh, that's bold claims there, TC, a permanent fix. We are currently working on the implementation. Once we are sure it is fixed, we will communicate the timeline uh, for a rank reset. Note, providing an accurate, reliable, and enjoyable ranking system is paramount to us at the coalition. So in conjunction with the next title update, we may turn off showing individual post-match results while we work on a fix. Oh, that's great. So then we know we have no, no clue where we're finishing. Oh, boy. This will allow us to keep gathering data on ranked to resolve the problem, which is essential to our ability to make improvements. Skill-based matchmaking will remain in place and is working well. Really? Oh, according to who exactly? Because it's not according to me and most of my friends. Because I keep getting in games where people have no thumbs, they have no brain, they don't even have feet. I don't even know how they hold the controllers. Honestly, they play worse than casual bots. And I don't understand how, but apparently according to them, skill-based matchmaking is working. Okay, sure. We will provide more details soon, including notification prior to making this change. Okay, there's a whole lot of stuff being said, but nothing actually being told. Matchmaking quality. Hold on, I thought you just said that was good. Priority high. Matches in select regions can have higher than acceptable pings. But what is acceptable? Explain this to us. Wait times can be unusually high in some regions. Which regions? It would help if you actually told us who. I'm in Europe, okay? I can play TDM, King of the Hill, and Guardian most of the time. If I go execution, I'm yesterday I, I streamed, or uh, was it yesterday? No, it was, I think, Wednesday. Um, and I sat in the waiting time for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, okay? It, I mean, <laughs> that should never happen. Status, a potential cause has been identified and solutions to improve this situation are in progress. I mean, this is just like, what does this actually say? Doesn't tell us anything. A potential cause, so it might not be it, but it might, has been identified and potential solutions basically are to improve the situation. Of course, they are to improve the situation are in progress. That's great. Versus gameplay tuning, priority high. We are investigating further weapon balance tuning in versus. Not just ranked and stuff, right? Not just say versus. Our current focus is on the Lancer, Breaker, Marksa, and Melee. What's wrong with the Lancer exactly? <sighs> okay. <sighs> Status. We are monitoring both feedback and in-game data to respond in response to our latest Marksa tuning. In it Nah, 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 nah. In addition, we have a new iteration of Lancer tuning based on feedback since launch and we expect to release in the near future. We're also actively investigating and testing other tuning uh, changes based on your feedback, including looking at the melee and breaker. Okay, a melee I can understand, okay? The commando launch is, is dumb, right? The reverse two piece is dumb. I get all that. But what's wrong with the Lancer? What feedback? Give us an example. Uh, I don't hear that many people complain about the Lancer. I hear people complain about the aim assist that is kicking in with every gun, especially the Lancer. I mean, the breaker mace, of course. That I just don't think that thing the, should exist in versus at all. It's ridiculous. I know you can shoot it to damage it, but trust me, if you're sweaty like me, I'll just put that shit on my back until you come close and then bada bing, bada boom, you're dead. As you've seen in the latest video where I showcased the clip where I just... Whap, 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 whack a bowl, everybody. You know? Uh, oh, we got people talking here. Let me take a look. Next one. In-game network corrections. Priority medium. Players experiencing occasional lag and or teleporting mid-match. Status. Investigation going on. Okay. 
Campaign progression catch up, priority medium. Some players are still missing campaign progress following our rollout to resolve the issue. Status, our team have a lead on the cause and are working to resolve this as soon as possible. We have gathered a significant number of gamer tags, which help, has helped us zero in on a solution. We hope to have an update on a res resolution in the near future. As a reminder, tuning or server side fixes, unless otherwise noted, can be resolved with live updates. This list is just a reflection of key issues we're working on and does not include design related feedback. Design related feedback. Oh, man. I'm sort of speechless, uh, to be honest, because. I mean, this is great and all, but this isn't really telling anybody anything new. In fact, we kind of expected you guys to do all this, right? This is your, this is your job to tell your team this is what you're working on. This is an internal thing. But this isn't really telling anybody anything, right? There's like a temporary fix or something. Also, real quick about the, the um, versus tuning. It says here... Uh, we are monitoring both in feedback and in-game data. Now, whose feedback exactly? Because I just said that, I know. But what's actually being said about the marks are now, right? And the melee now. And the in-game data, the in-game data is extremely skewed in Gears. Because just from my experiences alone, and these are just my experiences, right? A lot of people don't know how to play the game properly, okay? So whatever you see from the outside, if you're just looking at a uh, heat map where it just shows where people run and people shoot, etc. Well, you're just looking at that. You cannot tell what people are supposed to play like. And don't get me wrong, right? Like I'm not the end all be all in play style and all that stuff. But I know how Gears works. I know the attack and defend mechanisms and, and stuff. Like I, I understand how to play the game modes, etc. Right? A lot of people that I play with just don't, okay? It's always like I have to carry everyone or everyone's sort of kind of getting by because the other team is just as whack. But as soon as I'm up against a good team, they play completely different than the majority of people that I play against and with. So whatever data you guys are looking at, I don't know, I don't know who you're watching. I don't know who you're listening to, uh, but... Man, I hope it's some competent people. I really do. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like uh, and a comment, depending on, you know, what your thoughts are on this or just a comment on my uh, commentary, if you will. Um, all in all, I, I'm still the same. I've gotten some feedback about my like reasons for making these videos and my reactions to this stuff like i'm overly negative i'm overly this i'm overly that uh, to you people i have one thing to say and that is you need to pay attention okay i've said it time and time again i would give this game one season and one season alone to pull its ass its head out of its ass um but i am researching this game okay i it is not just me talking out of my ass here i'm looking up things that they have said before and that they said they would execute and you know reflecting that against or mirroring that against the actual game as it is right now all right so this is not just me um rambling on it sort of sounds like that i know but it's also to keep a log for myself how i progress week by week through this first season and at the end of the season i'll look back and say you know how has it gone? Because I was really optimistic about this game. You can ask any of my friends. I was super optimistic. Uh, but I was realistic as well. And not in terms of like my, my own expectations. Just the expectations for a company. They can only do so much work in a game. And a game is never really, really finished. Right? It's always like they wanted to do more. But it's good enough. It'll get by. And they, game development is a big, big blob of like if it works it works if it doesn't no one knows really why um so it, it is really tough to get it right but a lot of these things in my eyes they are design right they are made this way by design and i disagree with that to the absolute core 
with many of these uh, these things that they put in the game. And they can tell me that this is what most people want. I just don't buy it anymore. I want to see numbers. I don't just trust someone's, you know, I, I work for this, so it must be true. No, I want to see the reality. Like, you know, if I'm if I'm selling you a product, if I'm say if I'm an engineer or something, I'm a plumber and I'm supposed to fix your pipes. It's funny because we got a leak in the house. Uh, if you're telling me, okay, I'm gonna put this thing here, but it might work six months from now. I'll tell you to call your fucking boss and get me someone that knows what the hell they're doing. All right, this is the only industry where developers can constantly tell us we're working on it, guys. We're working on it, but just keep paying us. All right, here's some stuff. Buy this for us. Like, no, man. If I'm gonna give you my money, give me something useful. All right, give me something that I want to play, use, whatever. Okay, don't give me some shit. Like, I can buy a skin, a, a character or whatever, and never get to use it because I can't end up on a certain team or I can't play the mode or whatever. And I'm effectively just throwing my money away. Why would I do that? Anyway, I'm gonna cut it off there. It's been 60 minutes. I hope you guys have been well. It's Friday. Have a good weekend if you're watching this on the day of the release. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one or online. All right, check the description. Take care. Peace out.